Hello fellow P1P owners. I'm sitting next to my P1P, which we are preparing for surgery. I'm holding in my hands hardened steel extruder gear assembly. This is the bag that Bamboo sent it to me in. And on the label it says, 3D printer accessories, wow. No kidding. Let's open it up, perform some surgery, and install this sucker. So here it is. It's just a little brown box that does say bamboo on it. And on the label, it does say extruder gear assembly. And here it is. As part of the official instructions, there is a link to a provided STL file called the gear removal tool. If your bamboo is functional, you can print it right on your bamboo printer. If not, you can print it on any functional printer you have. I printed this on an Ender 3 S1 Plus and it printed very nice. If you click over to the Bamboo Labs wiki page and head to the extruder clog section and scroll down, you will see gear removal tool. Just click on that and an STL will download. Import that STL into Cura and you'll see this file right here. Obviously, we are going to print this with the flat side down, and that will give us a nice, quick, easy, support-free print. No supports, no brim, maybe a skirt if you'd like, and fire it off. To install this little guy, we have to take apart the hot end, so let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is pop this hot end cover off, you do that by simply squeezing it and popping it forward. Once it's off, just move it aside by pushing it behind the rail. You will see here that the cover is simply held on by magnets. Next up is to pop that extruder out. The first thing to do is to remove the wiring connections from the hot end. If you'd like, you can actually disconnect the cover at this point by removing this top connection. Simply get your finger on it and pop it off. We will then remove the next two, again, just by pinching with your finger and popping off, and then pinching this with your finger and popping off. There is a small bracket that's holding it in place. Just take the wire and just route it away from that bracket. And this little wire right here as well We are now going to loosen up the arm with this screw right here. And we're just going to move this arm out of the way and slide that little blade up. Next up, we will remove this little screw right here and this little screw down there. And right here inside the arm, number two. And hiding right over here by the wires is number three. And work that sucker out gently also. Now, we can work this whole extruder and hot end together. And there you have it, the extruder and the hot end have been removed. I managed to leave the Bowden tube installed and the hot end installed and pulled it all out in one part. Next up, is to open this case and get this gear out. To do that, we got a couple of screws to pop off. One, two, three, four. Once these four screws are out, we're gonna gently work this cover off. This is where the gear removal tool comes into play. If you were unable to get this gear to separate from this housing, you can see mine just came right out. You would take this section right here and place it over the tool. Then you would take a sharp tool, put it on the opposite side of that gear, 
and tap here. To push that gear out using the tool. However, mine came right out and yours probably will too. Next up is this arm. There is a tensioner on it, so we need to be really careful. We are going to use our tool and back that tensioner up a lot. You will see it's easing the pressure on that spring. After which case we can remove this little arm. We will then replace the cheapy old arm with the new arm. Take the new gear arm and slide it in. You might need to take a tool and compress that spring to work it into place. Once it's into place, you can go right ahead and retighten that tensioner. There is no information as to how tight this is supposed to be. So pay attention to where it was when you took it apart and just try to match that. Uh, mine was pretty darn tight and the video itself shows it flush which is how I'm going to do mine. Next up is to pop the gear and the housing back on. I'll take the gear and slide it in. Click. And then the housing just goes right over the gear. And if you were paying attention, there are four screws to go in. You can go ahead and put those in right now. Do note that this is cheap plastic, so do not over tie in. And now we go ahead and put it back in place. So we turn it around and just work it in gently. If you find you have trouble passing this arm, bring it down a little further. Now that it's in place, we'll do the three screws. You remember where they were? They're right there. There's number one. There's number two. And right under the cable connections is number three. To replace the handle, bring the handle up and look for a slot in the side. Take the blade and guide it into that slot and tighten the screw. Now gently reconnect all of these little cables by pushing them into their connections. Starting with the top, be sure to route these wires back behind this little black clip here. And then I would do the bottom one first. The middle one next. And finally the hot end cover. Then of course, just take the magnetic hot end cover and snap it into place. And there you have it. We've installed the Bamboo Labs hardened steel extruder gear assembly. It's quite a few steps and there are more than a few things that you could break along the way. But if you're gentle and take your time, it can be done. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and installing the Bamboo Labs P1P hardened steel extruder gear assembly was today's adventure.